What's up guys, XSR Detroit here with the fifth and final episode of the Winter Mod series for my XSR 900. Uh, today we're going to be getting the front and rear wheels off, um, throwing on some last minute uh, upgrades and getting the battery back in. Uh, once we get the wheels back, get those mounted up, get the tank panels back on, and after that I just have some small maintenance things that I want to do to make sure the bike's like just ready for the summer, ready for the the good weather and uh, yeah I mean 60 degrees today so it's it's getting there the weather's getting there um, I'm really just excited you know it's been a lot of fun putting this bike together but at this point all I want to do is ride and we're almost there so let's grab some tools and uh, finish this up I'm going to begin with the front wheel I'm going to remove the uh, wheel sensor up here it's a four millimeter The fastener for the wheel sensor itself is five millimeters. Next step, I'm gonna crack uh, the left and right calipers off. They are 12 millimeters for the bolts. the calipers out of the way we are ready to loosen up the pinch bolt for the axle it's right here it is a six millimeter allen fastener the last thing to remove is the front axle uh, we unscrew it it's a 14 millimeter allen With the front wheel removed, we're ready to move on to the rear wheel. We're going to start with another speed sensor here. Uh, the Allen fastener is four millimeters. With the sensor removed, we're going to move on to this Allen fastener here. It's a six millimeter, and then we have a bolt here that's a 14 millimeter. We are now ready to move on to loosening up the adjusters. And these are a 12 millimeter fastener. At this point, we're ready to remove the rear axle nut. It's a 27 millimeter. So this is going to be kind of tricky. I'm going to try and support the wheel while pushing the axle through. You can push it forward a little bit to help. Take some... And that's it for the rear tire.
picked up this cheap radiator guard off eBay. We're gonna pop that on now. At this point, we are ready to put the battery back in the bike. Before we put the front wheel on, I'm going to pop my front fender back on real quick. The torque for the front axle is 65 newton meters. Now to tighten up the axle pinch bolt, that is a 6 mil. And the torque for that is 23 newton meters. Point, we're ready to put the front uh, brake uh, calipers on. Um, so we have this bracket here that has a reflector on it. I took the reflector off months ago, so I'm just going to leave this bracket off. You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, these fasteners are uh, 12 millimeter. The torque for these fasteners is 35 newton meters. On the right side we have the speed sensor. We're gonna just insert that there. Then we have four millimeter fastener right there. And the torque values on the um, speed sensor fastener and the cover are like between seven and 10 newton meters. So I'm just gonna snug them up, make sure they're tight, but not like, you know, I mean, strip them or anything. <laughs>
for the brake caliper, we have a 6 mil Allen fastener, yeah, 6 mil, and a 14 millimeter bolt. For this back caliper bolt, we have 22 newton meters, and for this, the front, um, 14 mil, that's 27 newton meters. Last we have the sensor. I must have misplaced these caps for the tail frame, so I ordered some new ones. Pop these in real quick. I picked up these uh, mirror caps on Amazon. Uh, these are really cool if you're running bar and mirrors. I'm just gonna pop those on now. This is the left hand threaded one. For the clutch side, you'll have the right hand cap. Put that on there. Nice. Looks good. So when you get your ECU tuned by fee cycle, you're going to have to cycle uh, the ignition twice uh, before starting the bike up. So I figure I better get that out of the way. And then uh, we're going to fire it up. I haven't heard the bike with the new exhaust yet, so I'm really, really excited to hear it. So for my phone charging setup, I use this USB adapter that comes off the battery tender. I'm gonna try and kind of tuck that a little bit and then run the wire for my charge cable. We got this rubber bit that goes over on the side. And of course we have our tank trim for the middle. And of course we got some push pins. Last but not least, the Corbin seat. There we go.
that about does it for my winter mod series on this XSR 900. Uh, it's been really cool not only to have one of my dream bikes, but to be able to modify it in the way that I always kind of envisioned. It's been a really fun process. And not only that, but just sharing this with you guys just through YouTube and the uh, XSR communities on Facebook and the forums. It's been a really rewarding process to put this together, film it, edit it, and make these videos for you guys. So I really hope you like them. I hope that they're somewhat informative and hopefully entertaining. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you very much as always for checking out my channel. Please subscribe and like if you dig it or sound off in the comments section. I do have some stuff in the works uh, for some upcoming videos, so please stay tuned for that. And uh, as always, ride fast, ride naked, and wear your helmet. I'll see you in the next one.